All right, fireworks in court today as former President Donald Trump's attorney cross-examined Michael Cohen in the hush money payment trial against Trump. The defense trying to discredit Cohen in front of the jury and attempting to paint him as a liar who's looking for revenge. ABC's Rena Roy is in New York following the testimony. Michael Cohen, Donald Trump's former attorney, getting grilled on the witness stand by Trump's defense team all day. Defense attorney Todd Blanche trying to prove to jurors that Cohen is a serial liar who's not to be trusted. Cohen himself admitting he's lied repeatedly in the past for the former president. Anytime you have a, a witness against you, their credibility is the most important thing. He's lied so many times, so many places. The cross-examination forcing Cohen to explain statements he made to various people at various times about his desire for a cooperation agreement, a pardon, and a job in the White House. Blanche attempting to show Cohen's resentment towards Trump, asking, you were disappointed that after all the work you had done for President Trump for nine and a half years, nobody, including Mr. Trump, offered you a spot in the White House. Cohen replying, that's not accurate. Blanche at one point raised his voice as he pressed Cohen on a key piece of evidence in the government's case against Trump, suggesting Cohen lied about speaking with Trump by phone about Stormy Daniels just days ahead of the 2016 election. Around the time, Cohen says Trump ordered him to pay Daniels to keep her quiet about their alleged sexual encounter. Cohen insisting he's been truthful. Trump denying that sexual encounter and pleading not guilty to falsifying business records when he labeled Cohen's reimbursement as a legal expense. This trial is a scam and it's a sham and it shouldn't happen. And court will not be in session tomorrow with Trump expected to attend his son's graduation. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York. Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg's office has said it will rest its case once Cohen is done on the stand. The defense isn't obligated to call any witnesses and it's unclear whether the attorneys will do so.